Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and beautiful people across the whole world, it is Monday, my dude, and it's time for an epic battle where the stakes couldn't possibly be lower with my fellow human whose skill level couldn't possibly be higher. It's Nox! Oh, how are you doing this fine Monday, Nox? I'm alive. It's a good thing. I woke up this morning and I was like, maybe I'll make it to 3 p.m. my time, which is, of course, not 3 p.m. your time, but, you know, you get yeah. the point. Yeah. That I hear that. In, in, in the universe time zone, I was like, yeah, if I make it there, everything's fine. And I did. Yeah. I, yeah, today is going to be one of these days where we stumble through it. Because my cat has decided that 5 a.m. is her favorite time to do a rooster impersonation. And then when I get up and finally go, what is it? She flops over and exposes the tummy. And I rub the tummy and go back to bed bitter but happy. And now I'm going to bring that same mood here in this episode of What the Deck. Where we're going to be doing... Yeah. It's goblins versus elves, the classic archetypes from the early days of MTG goblins, of course, the aggressive synergy red style elves, the mana focused uh, weenies in green that often can get all swole up. And what we're going to be doing today is playing historic versions of those using decks that you submitted which means that we're not going to take any of the top meta. I know the Goblins is pretty good at Historic right now, but if you submitted a good deck to us, we didn't pick it. What what kinds of Goblins decks are we going to be seeing from you today, Nox? I mean, there's a, there's a lot of stuff I knew could be done with Goblins. Obviously, there's a ton of mana generation, <laughs> right? But I there, there's there's there are Goblins I kind of didn't even remember were Goblins. And then when you put it into perspective, you're like, oh yeah, those are all Goblins. Uh, and there's ways yeah. to get goblins that isn't with goblins, and so you can make a ton of goblins that way. <laughs> and there's ways to turn your one goblin into many goblins. Uh, it's it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, ho it's not just going to be you know Muxus, Cranko, you're dead. Yeah, uh, we're not going to have any of that actually. So what a relief. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, well, I have a couple Rube Goldberg machines on the elves front. Um, you know the. Uh... <laughs> okay, here's the thing. As always, we have a whole lot of, I, I want to call them ambitious decks. We have a whole lot of <laughs> infinite token generation style decks. We have a whole lot of, um, let's see, a land focus, a Keithus combo. But Dana Fisher, the legend, the legend of elves, submitted two decks that are actually good. And I'm running one of them that has Cray Behemoths, and I will be running it first. Okay, so you're going to feel play good. A, a, a good elf deck to begin with. So, you know, I'll bring out the big guns first Yes, please, well, in your, ve okay, in your very first one. That. Very okay. first one. For any of you who don't know, uh, Dana, Dana Fisher is, I think she's nine. She's incredibly young. She is like this super rising star who loves elves. Um, and, of course, got very excited upon <laughs> seeing goblins versus elves. And part of me was like, no, no, you have to understand. These are not going to be good elf decks. And she was like, no, 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 but check out this one. And I saw the Crate Hook Behemoth, and again, it won me over. So without any further ado, Nox, are you ready to... Ugh, yeah, I'm good. I, I'm fully magic. ready. I am inspired. I am ready to click the buttons. I am going to exercise all my gamer power with my right oh. index. Oh, that's right. Go. Let me tell you, for yeah. any of you who don't know, Nox is a gamer. All right, it's time yeah. to introduce deck number one. And for any of you who have never seen this show, here's how it works. You submitted a variety of decks to us. We're going to pick five or so of our favorites, talk about them, showcase them, battle against one another to kind of get up to speed with your ideas and ideologies. And then we're going to pick our very favorites from those. And in an oh-so-serious, not best of three, we're going to play a best of three. Oh, yeah. Determine which one is the best. All right, Nox, I'm introducing stuff. Here we go. All right. All right. We're going straight in for the big guns. The Crater Hoof Behemoth. And what better way to bring a Crater Hoof Behemoth to the battlefield than with mana? All right. So first of all, for any of you who've never seen Crater Hoof Behemoth, this is one of my favorite cards of all time. My, like, I love this card. First of all, it is one of the biggest, greenest men. But Crater Hoof Behemoth, five triple green, haste five five. When it enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So if you have a whole bunch of little tiny elves, little tiny mana generators, you get a Crater Hoof Behemoth out, all of them could get, say, plus six, plus six. Keep in mind, the Crater Hoof Behemoth 
also gets plus six plus six. So often this comes out by itself. By itself, it's a six six with haste. But with more things, oh yeah, it's real big. How do we get there? We use a lot of the all stars. We have Llanowar elves to generate mana. We have uh, Dwenin's elite when it enters a battlefield. If you control another elf, you make more elves. That's good, because then we can get more, more buffs. Elvish Visionary, quite a, a solid little card. Uh, Imperious, Imperious Perfect. Other elf creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and you can make more tokens with it. You see a lot of focus on getting a lot of the creatures out, because then you have something like the Elvis Arch Druid to add one green for each elf you control. And look at this, Nox. Jessica sent a friend request. Not a chance. Not a chance, Jessica. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? I thought Nox had introed his deck in T minus no seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oops. To battle. Going down against Nox. Perfect. I've challenged you. Is this some boomer tech? Wait, are you Jessica? Yeah. I, I just challenged you with what the host and you didn't respond. I know. I didn't realize that was you. I'm so oh. embarrassed. I'm who so do you embarrassed. Think I was. I who, was, who was I that? was I was shitting on some viewer who was just interrupting my stream to try to friend oh. me named Jessica. Who are these clowns that are trying to add the host to fight against me while I'm trying to play against Nox? And then it turns it out. It says you're I was Nox. already challenging you. This is so confusing. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna challenge you, Jessica, my friend, my buddy. This, 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 this technology is just not ready yet. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the busted technology. Special dedication to get there, and just like oh, yeah. actually, it's so confusing to challenge your friends that you're just gonna go to your LGS to buy a box of cards. Yes. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Meet me at the local game store. I can't. This does not work. Ooh. You know, I have a hand, Sean. I, I, I'm going to give my hand a non-zero chance of winning the game. It's, it's got some of the goods in it, but let's. I want to I start off with perhaps the most classic opening no, in the history of Magic. No, 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 don't do it. Nope. There it is. All right. There it so is. Sean, did you, did, did you, do, you know, uh, do you know a card called Patriarch's Bidding? No, I don't. You but do not. Okay. I know that you know a card yeah, called well, Patriarch's Bidding. We don't I have it in Arena, sadly. Yeah. I, I wish... That was an easy way to recreate that card. There are some ways. No one submitted them. Um, but this card I'm playing here, the Prospector, is an essential part of that um, of that ecosystem. Yeah, I mean, the Sack and the Goblin to add the red, I feel like this is just... It, it's trying to do its best elf impersonation. Sacking things to make mana. I just gotta turn him sideways. By the way... Nox, I am absolutely addicted to crispy water. Ew. I love what? crispy water. Uh, fizzy water. Crisp oh, wait, water. hold up. Crispy water. Okay, crispy enlighten water. me. Go. Yeah, Ice, crispy water. Mean... What? No, 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 no. Carbonated water. Carbonated oh. water. When you have the carbonation, you know, I, 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 as a kid, I called it fizzy, fizzy water. Oh, but as an adult, okay. I call it crispy water. Um, okay, I, I call it uh, sparkling water. Sparkling water. Oh, that's yeah. that's so like bourgeois. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is our Versailles moment. This yeah, is no, this, this is, is really good. Everything is going to hell. Yeah, this is it. Now, okay. now here, l let me show you. There, there's a card that is often used as a finisher. That what we're going to do here is we're going to use it as a reminder. Oh. What's in this deck again? Elvish let Arch me... Druid is what's in this deck. <laughs> yes, yes. You know what? You know the deck better than I. Oh. Hello. Uh, this is a th that's a decent card too. All right, it's a decent card. Now this is this is going to be a bit of a pickly turn. We're gonna try our best. We're gonna try our best. This is a trap. This is a trap. Now I, I'm oh, too used to no, playing standard. Block. I'm too used to playing standard, where I just see anyone with red attack, and I just little tears form, and I'm like, I don't want to be against an Ember Cleave. Like, I'm going to say no blocks. I'm just going to let it through, okay? No, no, it resolves. Is this a... Okay. 
Gem Palm Incinerator. Oh, look at I, this. I can't cycle it because I can't discard it. I just realized yeah. like it's kind of stuck there. Yeah, well, the I mean, foreseeable I, future. it's good, though, because it reminds me a little bit of what my skin tone is becoming since staying inside 24 hours a day in quarantine. <laughs> like this is Fair. me. Yeah, this is this is me late at night being like, I can queue for one more game of Dota. I uh, uh all this right. card used to be so good. Eons ago, this card made uh, made goblins a full on tier one deck. I mean, to be all fair, right. Scarf Prospector did it too, but already. Yeah, yeah, that's oh yeah. An early one. Oh. Oh my God! I missed click no attack. Oh my God! Turn off the stream. I, I was gonna attack though. with everything. No. Oh, I, think it's okay. oh, I wouldn't oh, worry about it. Oh, it's cool, oh, Sean. I don't Everyone's even want to look. No. no this, okay. Fine. No. This is the degree to which this is bad. Okay. Whenever I do something like this, immediately people go, "He's only doing that to. He's faking it. It's so bad. It has to be fake." And it hurts so much because I just happily was like, yeah, I'm going to win. There it is. 21 damage to the face. And just, ugh. I, I mean, I want to just uh, say can we, that. Can we start I, the I show over? I feel similarly. I feel similarly whenever I play. And I, I don't usually do it very often on stream. But, you know, if I ever go around playing <sighs> anything that resembles a shooter or an RTS or a MOBA, I can guarantee you I'll be so bad people will think I'm faking the whole thing. The whole thing, all of it. The whole all thing, of it. all of it. Every single bit of the thing. Yeah, every, fake. yeah. He plays games on stream all day. And he doesn't know how to attack with his units. That's real pain, man. What, what, what is even happening here? When you cycle Sean in quarantine, you may have a deal X damage to a creature. <laughs> Sean in gone. quarantine, nice. All right, here we go. Well, come sideways, and I'm going to use this to generate even more mana. And I don't think I have any way to spend it. Got it. Copy. All right, cool. But it feels good. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know if this is going to make for good content now. This is actually. I guess. I guess what you're watching right now is basically the plot of any romance. Like, if you watch romance shows, it's two people <laughs> who just refuse to sit down and have a reasonable conversation for 22 yep. episodes. And that's... They just keep getting all emotional and just, no, I'm... You know what? Everything's fine. I just I need to I think there's also now. the thing that the... Th there's a question about what constitutes a reasonable conversation. I, I think that could be debated. You don't... No, because no, the really successful romances all rely upon the writer knowing precisely what everyone will think is unreasonable and then that's what the characters say and because everyone has that unreasonable friend and they're like ah oh, yeah my friend would do that ah uh, yeah and you know what's sabotages. funny too now that hmm. you mention it it also serves as a means of reinforcing your self-worth because there's so much worse than you in the show oh yeah oh yeah and every and because you see that in the show you're like well obviously people outside are like that as well yeah. So by by definition, I am better than everybody else for having Ab spotted that problem in the show. And do and you're, everybody you are thinks that person is normal. And see now, right here, everyone watching is doing the exact same thing. They're like, "This guy sucks at magic. <laughs> he doesn't." You attack no, with you're great, Sean. Oh. You're great. Oh, Knox. Oh my God. Thank you so much. I still want to win. So what what have you been doing? This looks like your traditional. Make a million goblins one. Put all goblin cards revealed into your hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the conspicuous snoop. Oh, you go... Oh, this is so sick. You generate a bunch of goblin tokens, sack them with the prospector, and now we're going to get... Am I going to get Siege Gang Commandored? No! Reveal yeah. the top six cards, put all goblin creature cards, convert mana cost five or less onto the battlefield. When it attacks, it gets plus and plus until end of turn for each goblin you control. Something like that. Oh my god, this is you. M Muxus is you playing this deck in front of all your viewers. And there they are, hoisting you upon them. Go Nox! Yeah! I I'm just trying to figure out exactly... Like, I, I feel like this deck does not play a sufficient amount of hasters or haste-giving things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's just sacking all the ringleaders. Ay! Ay! Caramba! 
You probably you know would have won this game with a different... <laughs> with a different maneuver. Just a little bit different. Okay, I don't want... I don't even want to look. <laughs> I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look. Is there, is there a way for me to win? I have Siege Gang and a bunch of goblins, but I don't feel like they generate anything. That's yeah, it, right? So, so like, wait, wait, hold I on, need, hold you on. Know, Siege Gang, because you can go one, two, three, four, five, summon two things. One, but two, then I three, need four, like five, a lot six. more mana, don't I? One, two, three, four, I five. Think... One, two, one, one. Two. Oh no, I had, le I had exactly lethal with goblin. Yeah. That with Siege Gang, I had one mana left over even. I think Siege Gang was GG. All right, yeah. well, I, I want to... So if you have Crater Hoof, then I'll just, you know, yeah, I'm I, eating I, it in full. I, you punted, and I punted back, because I'm pretty sure Siege Gang was lethal in hindsight. Is all right in the world? I don't quite have enough mana to do what I want to do, but we're going to we're gonna. If try. you have 10, you should be good. I, I don't have 10. I don't. Well, what does Mar Marwin do? Marwin does nothing. She has one. Well, I mean, like, not literally nothing, but, like, compared to what I want to be able to do, nothing. Oh. Can I get But anything? she can give you the body for Crater Hoof. And that's probably what she's going to be doing. That's probably what she's going to be doing. Where is the other Crater Hoof behemoth in this in this thing? <laughs> there is, it's eight mana, Sean. That's why I asked, why aren't you dabbing Morrowind? Oh, my God. God, it's an eight coster. <laughs> it's welcome to Pun City. Ten, ten, it's okay. I have this Nyx Bloom Ancient. All right. Uh, okay, hold up. That's a lot of. Yeah, that's a big thing. That's a big. That's a big guy. It's okay. It's okay. You know, it's so funny. Dana Fisher is probably watching right now and is just like horrified. <laughs> it's just like, like, well, it turns out what not is all going the on? know what the hell they're doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. You know, I, I I will always mess this up. This is... It's okay, Sean. I've messed up worse. I will always mess this up. I will always mess this up. The thing is, the thing is, my Crater Hoof Behemoths are always getting reanimated from the graveyard. That's how I put a Crater Hoof Behemoth on the battlefield. Hard yeah. passing a Crater Hoof Behemoth? Never done it. Never done it. I don't even know what that feels like. I'm not even it's sure true. you can. Yeah. Genesis Ultimatum also can bring yeah. it in, I think. Yeah, it's... <sighs> Wait, 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 wait. Jules, what? Jules, Jules in my chat is trying to save me. Isn't End Ray's Forerunners a worse that Crater seven? Hook? That's eight as well. I got nothing. I, I, it's not even. <laughs> like, it's not even muscle memory. <laughs> there's there's got to be. So, I mean, I, Nyx Bloom Ancient is seven. We just saw, and it was wow. triple green. It has text on it. Yeah, I mean, it's a I, Asian I, of know, Treachery is seven. You know, there there is um, an explanation, and then there is an excuse, and I am hunting really hard for an excuse right now. Like I want, I want to try to find the excuse, but I got it, oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, I have it. you got I have it. Okay, help me out. Help me out. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Wrecking Beast. <laughs> it has Riot, and is a six six for seven. It technically has like haste and trample, kind of. That's probably exactly what you were thinking of. That's it. That's it. That's it. You know what? Thank you so much for referencing a heretofore unmentioned card in Magic <laughs> as perhaps being the reason that I mis <laughs> miscalculated the mana. Okay. You're good. Okay. Well, you know what? I, I'm i going to make some tokens. I'm going to I'm gonna introduce our next deck. Sure. Good game. In game number one. I feel like we'll see a return of that one. But let me, let me showcase the next deck. BRB. Okay, let's. We have two types of token makers. Let's do the more ambitious one from More Cakes Infinite Tokens. How does one do Infinite Tokens? If you've never seen Riss the Redeemed, Riss the Redeemed can create a 1 1 green and white elf warrior creature token, right? This makes some elf creature tokens. Uh, we have the Fauna Shaman. Uh, this can help us search for specific creatures. Oh my, which creature will it be? Hold on, I'm trying to maneuver around here to uh, uh, whenever another non-token creature you can control dies you may exile it if you do create a token that's a copy of that creature except it's a 1-1 one, one, and it's a nightmare in addition to other uh, it's other types we can make a lot of tokens and then look at the 6 cost on risks for each creature token you control create a token that's a copy of that creature 
So we can just make many, 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 many tokens. And the best part is with all the tokens that we create, we can give them all haste, thanks to this Planeswalker that has a passive that doesn't feel like it should be banned from standard tomorrow. <laughs> we also have a little henge to do stuff here. We have the Hyrax Tower Scout, allowing us to untap Riss. Um, it's a lot of make a little bit of mana, and then just start to pound out tons and tons and tons of tokens. Shoink, boink, bang. Alright. Alright. Even I know that this hand needs to get mulliganed. Even I know. This'll do. This will do. Discard a creature card, search for the thing that you need, and shuffle it up, huh? I think I'm not going to need the Woe Strider. I think I'm not going to need the Woe Strider. I have enough mana generation with my Incubation Pals that I can... I'm probably even going to discard the Hyrax Tower Scout. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay. I see, I see black mana. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. It's, it's goblin, uh, it's, it's black goblin. I'm taking these turns real slow. Real slow, just nice and gentle, the way that my cat gently meowed until her little lungs were sore at five in the morning. There's the excuse, I found it. To be fair, That's the only my son did the same thing. I woke up at like five. He meowed endlessly. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, you... You I don't know, Sean. Guy. I feel like I need to play this, but I'm, I'm not sure that it's even correct. A lot of things right now don't make a lot of sense. Like this hand I have. Okay, this is... This is cool. This is indeed pretty, pretty tight. Okay, oh, yeah. a lot of mana. I can see it. And you know what? What? <laughs> Hit you for nothing. <laughs> don't okay. think I don't know how to... Intimidate with the Incubation Druid. Don't think I don't know how to do it. Ox, <laughs> what are you doing, man? <laughs> Listen, Sean, I... I'm, like, I really... I'm hoping this works. Is what this comes down to. You know, I think... It, it's what I've got. I like it. Ideally, I'm supposed to pick up other stuff or be slower, but you seem to have a very quick deck. N uh, oh God. I, I'd what like to show you going on? what is I'd even like going on. I'd like to show you the potential to slow things down. Arcane Adaptation. Rogue. <laughs> it's a Goblin versus Elves deck. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Don't, ask. Why? Don't ask. Why is everything rogue? Okay, it's, well. It is, it is what it is. A rogue is a rogue is a goblin. The great hoonge, okay. On a shaman. All right. All right. I I'm see gonna it. Send in just the, you know, send both of them in. Send Five both damage them. seems reasonable. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm a fan. Okay. All right. So it's it's elves versus goblin rogues. There it is. This is complicated. It it certainly feels like there's complexity on my end. Opening up with a pair of scheming symmetries straight into an arcane adaptation naming not the creature type that <laughs> this show's about. This is great. Hmm. I have to find ways to win. You know, that's the, that's kind of the challenge right now. That's huh. the biggest problem I'm running into. Is finding ways to win. Okay. It doesn't help that this is already a rogue, you know? Yeah. You know, I'm going to... Let's see, one, two... Can I... I think that this works. I'm gonna... Okay, adapt. that's a, that's an adapt. Adapt. Ooh. Are you gonna re-adapt? Oh. And so it begins. 
What is what and begins? And so it begins. <laughs> what, what begins? What, begins? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're gonna begin to make a bunch of tokens. Here it is. But how? Bam. All right. Do you see? Do you see this? This is so no, sick. No, not yet. I'm still waiting. I'm trying to understand what's happening. All right, we're I'm hunting for um I don't uh, see blue, so I I like there, there's there's something. I don't see white either. Let me get this guy. Rift lurker. Wait, what? Yeah. I'm just confused now. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Okay. I'm, set, I'm setting things up. This is a multi-turn start. I, I'm, multi I'm setting start. things up too. I'm just not sure that they do anything. <laughs> I know that feeling. That is, that is what the deck, where it's like, I see that you have given me a bunch of puzzle pieces, but I think that these are from different puzzles. Uh-oh. Oh, because everything's a rogue, now you mill me. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of the... I think that's the that's the core... Con oh, oh, you have a woe strider. Yeah. Okay. I still don't know how I die. You, d I'm you die to thanks to width. Bang, bang. Oh, woe strider can make a lot of things. Yeah. Now that you have the nightmare ship. But this only buffs non-tokens, right? Oh. But see if I start sacrificing things. Well, you fawn a shaman, discard potatoes. Yeah, you see this? Yeah. He's what back. happened? Yeah, I know it's bag. That's what it does. Yeah. Now it's not oh, a yeah. creature. It doesn't draw with the great henge. That's right. But yeah. But I can but. I can turn wrists sideways. Actually, I'll you know I'll wait till the end of my turn to do this. I think I'll wait till the end of my turn. Wait. Wait. The end of your turn. End of your turn, excuse me. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. Okay. And I want you to know, I have a reclamation sage. In your hand? Yeah. Yeah? But I'm not gonna do it. Arcane adaptation. Is everything gonna become a goblin now? I, I mean, I guess. I think that's what the <laughs> deck wants to be doing. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. We're 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 gonna exile everything. But why? Because then I turn them all into tokens. <gasps> oh. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh, you know. Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it. That yeah. makes way more sense, Sean. Oh yeah. I see. Oh yeah. No, I I get it. I think. Kind of. Riss is an elf warrior. Yeah. And now it's a nightmare elf warrior. We're getting big. We're getting huge. Ah! And then you can like pay six on end step. Well, not this turn because it's, it's it doesn't have haste, but. I think then I don't want to sack the Hyrax Tower Scout on this turn. Because you're going to be using it to untap wrists later. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So you're, you're, kind right. of a ge you're kind of a genius. I, You know what? I, I didn't what? want to be the first to say it, but you know, it's, a little <laughs> bit, it's a little bit the case. Oops, that's not the right one. This do, is the correct you, one. Yes. How do you give haste to things in the deck? Oh, oh! Now you have infinite things, cause you. But there's no haste, so you can't tap them. Yeah, I mean that's that's an issue. You know, I'll keep this. Do you have Samet in the deck, the four mana planeswalker? Do I? I don't know. I feel like getting that would be nice. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, now you're. Oh got yeah. It. Okay, so <laughs> then if I can just. <laughs> hmm. No, I think, I'll, I, think I'll... I think you're out of mana, though. You're a little bit short on mana. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, did I... 
So no, is the player that submitted this thought the Great Henge would put a plus one plus one on the tokens probably. So that your druids would add three each. So this is oh god. Eventually you go infinite. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We so this is one, two, three, <laughs> four, five. We have five mana. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I'm gonna have to sack for something. Okay. Okay. Okay, what? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm holding okay. on, I'm holding on. As okay, watch. Can. Watch. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna tap this guy. Okay. To sacrifice this to go search for something that generates mana. <laughs> That's clever. But it's gonna cost you mana to get it out. Oh, I have a three mana incubation druid. I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. That's fine. That's you fine. do? That's fine. I, I do. I, I didn't I didn't see it there, but I do. Yeah, no, we're we're absolutely fine. You know what? Let's Let's uh, let's just get a land or elf. Huh, that seems pretty cool. Okay. Ah. Uh, Oops. Okay, not that's you. a freebie. All right. And this this actually gains you life. Wait, do you have something to untap the great henge? No. Oh no no no! Because what happens <gasps> is. Well, you can untap the four four and then make six mana and then copy that. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Ah. Whew. Oh, this game is gonna be amazing on mobile. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> So, right. It's the second half of the year, Sean, they said. It took me a moment. It took me a moment. I'm really, like, what I'm really happy about is, like, I'm happy that I'm safe in the knowledge that because the Mac and the Windows client are so stable, mobile is just going to have a field day. It's going to be, it's going to have a lot of fun. My phone, oh. I have bought some heat protectors. Sean. Oh, my God, we're doing it. We're doing did it. Did you... So, hmm. did you know what this deck was, was trying to do before you got to it? You know, I'll be honest. Yeah. I saw the Nightmare shepherd Riss combo. I did not uh -huh. see the Go Infinite with Samet. I didn't. Ah, uh, I see. I didn't. You were like, it, why it, is this giving haste to anything? Yeah. Dana Fisher isn't the only one disappointed in me today. <laughs> but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We're having fun. We're having fun. This is good. Give me... <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Arena client goes. It yeah, no. Do... <laughs> he just doesn't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna untap this a number of times. Do you, <laughs> do, do you think I can crash the game? Do you think we? Can... Okay, so here it is, Sean. Okay, I think yeah. three more activations, the game is crashing. Okay, let's try I'm, to see I'm if we can crash the game. Let's try I'm to crash it. On okay. Three. Wait, no, three no. Is the number stop, I'm stop on skipping here. through this. Why, why is this game just skipping through? It's like it's already untapped and it has a tappable ability, so we're not gonna. Here, give me full control. Resolve. One. Oh god. You know uh, what? I, uh, I I really I'm not gonna I'm gonna turn off. Oh, you're, you're doing that. You're doing that, right? Three times. One. All right, resolve that. Oh wait, hold up. There's a lot of other stuff that has to go. On. Yeah, you know <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right, so this is gonna hey, go. Do on it. This do pack. it again. Do it again. Well, it's too late now. But go. Do it again. Oh my Try god. Try stop I... it. <laughs> <laughs> the the, the problem, the, actually, these Hyrax Tower Scouts are the problem because, like, yeah, I can't. They're, they're not a May ability. They're just you gotta do yeah, it. Yeah, you have to untap a thing. All yeah. right, yeah. Let's see if we can crash any of our viewers' computers as well. We right now have 113. This is. These decks always feel like going to the store to buy a ladder so you can enter your house through your attic window when you get back from the store. <laughs> yeah, and that's why you don't need a key to your front door. I'm like, listen, just submit a key, man. Uh. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to do this so I pass priority. Give me a sec. It's going to take a few seconds for the game to understand what I'm trying to do. Okay, yeah, no, the game registered the click. Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, now I... I... <laughs> we're, on, okay. we're on activation one. You got another one now. Okay. No, there's also a, a bit of a question uh, that I have for everyone who's watching live right now. How is Cardboard Live handling this? Because there is an overlay <laughs> technology called Cardboard Live. Um, uh where you can hover your mouse over the screen. It'll give you information. And I feel like this is the sort of... Um, I can imagine... Da, 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 da. Why is it not my turn anymore? You probably did... You took too many actions, probably. The game doesn't want up. you to play, Sean. Yeah, I mean, the, everything is giving up right now. This is good. Yeah, no, the only thing that isn't giving up is you, Nox. You and me. Um, I'm clicking the button first. Like, what I can't understand is 
why this is why I'm why am I lagging? Why is my input of discard a card? You know, I think I know Struggling why. With Here, okay, here's I think I know why. There is go. Okay, so I know you know half of this, but for all all all, all of you don't. Um, there is a thing called lockstep. Uh, which is a way of doing multiplayer networking, which is that if I click, like let's say I cast Lightning Bolt on this creature, it locks us in the same step. It keeps us synchronized. I send the bolt of the creature to the server, and when the server verifies it, it sends it to both of us. So Lightning Bolt will happen effectively at the same time. Um, this is different from other models where it will let me bolt on my computer, and then it takes time to get to Nox's screen and then Nox sees it sort of play out. So in, in that case, we're having things be asynchronous. As far as I can tell, Magic the Gathering is done in lockstep. So I think what is happening is that whenever you try to do a command, even though none of these creatures has an active occurring at the moment, I think it just is just sending the state information of what's there, which frankly makes a ton of sense because rarely do you have a few hundred to a thousand creatures on the board. Normally you have like four, so there's no reason to be overly efficiency focused in spots like that. Uh, in response to this, I'm going to generate. <laughs> I just tapped it. I just tapped it. My computer isn't doing anything. Yeah, but I don't see anything either. I think the yeah, game no. is trying to understand what's happening. Yeah, I mean... I said three activations of the crash. I, you know... I, I No, no, you said it. It's... <laughs> Oh shit, it just doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Oh yeah. Now this is this is I think a metaphor for when you try to make uh, an employee do too much work. Oh. There it is. Alright. <laughs> Even the game can't update the numbers properly. The game is like... Look at this! It's, it's chugging up, man. I'll choose the untapped legendary. I'll choose this one. <laughs> uh, Alright. You might make me pass the turn just by forcing the timeout. Yeah, the, by the way, this is why chess players take a long time between moves. Is This is what's going on inside of their minds. Yeah. It's like so. If I move the rook here, and then everything stops. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna untap the low strider. What you should do is try to sacrifice all the high racks to the low strider. That's <laughs> remove probably. The... <laughs> this is. I mean, this is the real problem that we're encountering, huh? Oh shit! I have 28 of these that I have to put on the stack. It's just taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's taking so, so John, long. John, do you want to tell me a little bit about your life story? We could do some. Uh, it's, I, I, I grew up in Leewood, Kansas, as a young boy. I uh, <laughs> I used to bike in the hazy summer days and explore my neighborhood. This is. I mean, this is an episode of Sesame you're Street scouting. right here. You're scouting. Yeah, I'm. I'm scouting, man. And here, here's the, here's the big thing. What? We're gonna get to 28. Like I'm ready for the count to pop out. <laughs> oh, you have 18, 28 to put on the stack. 19. Yeah, I think I oh, think I have 28. So that's not so bad. Uh, you know, I think I th here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to <laughs> do one more activation. That's what okay, I want. Sean, do. Sean. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I had shattered the sky right now. <laughs> do you? Oh. No, but if I had. It, how many eardrums would pop across the world? Yeah. Go! <laughs> it just, like, explodes. All right. Now, the funniest thing of all is that it's not my turn. Yeah, this is my turn, by the way. You've just taken all of it. All right. All right. Looks like it wasn't 28. I was wrong. Maybe it's oh, just it was, 32. Uh, it was 32? It was 32 plus my little enforcers, so... So here's the thing. Here's the thing. What? I I believe that I'm going to win. Okay. I, I think that I have enough power on the board to win on the next attack. That said, rather than permitting me the win, I want to tap risk one more time. Three. 
That's what I want to do. We st we settled on three. At three, we crash. You ready? Okay. At three, we crash. This is it, Sean. Let's do it. The the, the experiment to rule them all. Now, if any yes. of you have ever tried to solve a really complex problem, it does feel like this. I'm gonna untap 34 times. Okay. Let's untap. Like all I've done is try to untap the woe strider 34 times, and the game is just. It's at a standstill. It, 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 there's nothing else for you to do here. Yeah, it's trying to resolve it's, all these things. Yeah, it's it just it needs so to. I'm just them. trying to figure out what the logic is behind this. Is every action running through like is it sending the board state information on every untap? I think it is. I think it's there is an untap. Here's the state of everything. Untap. Here's the state of everything. So like, what do you make of that? Is there a way to fix that problem? For optimization well, purposes. I mean, there's got to be a way to, to just... No, no, here, here's the thing. In If you are in a computer science education program... Sure. The way that young CS coders function is the exact same way as someone who's just gotten into watching Dota describes pro play having not actually played at a high level. For instance, the newbie Dota player will say, Well, that was dumb. Why did he farm there if he was just going to get killed? No, no, you, you don't understand. It's really hard. It's really, really hard. I don't understand. Why doesn't he just put counter spells in his deck if he just doesn't want to be up against big spells? No, no, no. You, th this game is really complicated. I don't understand. When it comes to coding, newbie CS students are just like, well, I don't understand why they don't just optimize everything. Well, the you answer can. is, yeah, well, yeah. It, it, it takes time. I mean, time it's and also, not worth it. Yeah, because you, you think about orders of magnitude. Are we going to have tens, hundreds, <laughs> thousands, tens of thousands? What are we going to have? And in Magic, you generally have less than 20. You have tens of things. Sure. At most. So it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Doesn't but here's matter. the thing. Here's the hypothetical situation. Yeah. It's a tournament game in historic. Yeah. This is a viable deck. Oh, now that's... Well, here's what's going to happen. This is the way it the, happens. The card every... is getting banned, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. He, here's, here's how it happens. At any company, it doesn't matter if it's a game, if it's just a regular tech company, here's a conversation that happens. There's a, there's a product manager who's looking around trying to make sure stuff's functioning. Product manager says to the coders, okay, is it optimized enough for that upcoming tournament? And the one person who's in charge of this kind of optimization says the following. Well, it works on my machine. Ah, uh, I like there it. There it is. You know what? You're, it works you on my it. machine. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. yeah, it looks yeah. good. I mean, it, work, it, it works on my machine. And then, and then on my machine, on our machines, on the world's machines, here's what happens. Okay, it, like, literally, we need to put two cards in the graveyard, <laughs> and the code's like, stop. Yeah. Stop. Okay. <laughs> They're basically running a stripped down version just there's the os and just a non-graphical ui yeah. okay like the code function <laughs> are you ready <laughs> for more. the third tap are you ready for this I i'm i'm ready for it i just want to show on my screen that when i click on it like just just right click on something everything is running at like five frames per second Oh, you're, now, you're you're frame dropping too. Well, you see, on my end, there is no frame drop. No, you're you're no, you're dropping frames to me as well. Like your your video is dropping. <laughs> it's okay now. <laughs> but I mean, like, hold on, I gotta open up my task manager. Okay, I want to see you, this. If you look at the networking, tell me what's going on with the networking there, Sean. All right, so right now, right now, Magic the Gathering is using twenty percent of my CPU. Okay, that's that's okay. Okay, so I clicked this, and upon clicking. Okay, it's still at 20. Blue screen right, I of tapped death. It. I tapped it. And yeah, maybe it, maybe it's not actually a processing issue. Maybe it's a memory issue. I mean, it's got to be. It it's usually just... is with Arena. It's it's not a CPU problem. You're not CPU bound. You're memory bound in this game. Every time there's a problem, it's always memory related. Yeah, just auto pad's fine. Let me, uh, let me turn on full <laughs> control. I accidentally left full control on because I was oh, opening God, up my Chuck. task manager. No, 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 I was opening I mean, my task manager. I, it's I too hit late, the button. The game already recorded it. The game already thinks you. It still thinks you want to do auto uh, full control. <laughs> okay. So, so what's your what's your uh, what's your memory usage looking like? Um, 
let me ah, damn it I can't turn off full control all right let's let's go to my let's go to my uh, performance I'm using eight gigs you're using eight gig I'm on two I'm using 8.3 gigabytes of memory right now. <laughs> I am using 2.3. I'm not even, I'm literally running, I'm literally running magic. Okay, let me turn off full control. It's too late, it's already input, Sean. It's already no, no, no. run through. You think you haven't. You're gonna, it's gonna tell you that you don't have it on, but it's on. And it's on for all the, in, like the instant targeting you're gonna have to do. All right, so I just, I just hit the button. <laughs> So, oh my Sean, gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's assume this. Mm hmm Yeah. This is not technically an infinite process, but what if it takes long enough for a human being's lifetime to happen? Yeah. But it doesn't crash or doesn't return a system error. Is then it considered these... a failure? No, no, no. That's the, I mean, like, already, Magic the Gathering Arena is an extraordinary success in my mind because... <laughs> It doesn't instantly detonate. Like, most people that play Magic the Gathering don't even know the rules of the game, right? Yeah. People are like, I'm going to counter this, and I'm going to counter this. But what happens with this guy that triggers? And they look at each other and go, I don't know. And they just agree amongst themselves at the kitchen table what to do, and life moves on. In this game, they, like, there is a deterministic process going on somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> what is gonna happen? This is so good. All right. Um, wow. You know, there's this editor we work with named Ed, who's incredible. And this, Who that? Ed. Ed the editor. Ed. Ed the Ed. editor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ed. Ed the editor. editor. He's great. Oh yeah, he does all, all all the editing and highlighting for us. It's fantastic. My human. my cardboard life gave up at eight incubation druids. Yeah, I uh. My... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. Okay. Now let me get. What, okay. Let's set a timer right now. Yeah. No. Because this is going to be good content for Ed. Okay. We'll tell Ed. Uh... All right. Let's. Here we go. So I'm going to open up. Oh, I heard sounds. A lot of sounds. It sounded like aliens exploding. It like honestly, it sounded like Zerg just blowing up the tank fire. Now, oh this my like, god. This sounds like Protoss. I can't hear a thing. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't make any sense of what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's the EDM mix? Yeah. Okay, now I'm frame dropping. Yeah, no, I we are in seconds per frame territory. <laughs> <laughs> What's your SPF, Sean? Uh, uh. You know, I'll I'll keep this risk. I'll keep this one. This was this is the one I'll hang on to. But oh, they asked you the question. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like, I gotta be honest with you, Knox. It works on my machine. I can't it's believe it's working. Yeah, it's actually working. We have. I mean, this is like thousands. This is incredible. This is incredible. I mean, I can't... Like, unfathomably, um, the CPU usage hasn't gone up. The memory usage hasn't gone up. No, but I'm everything just, feels sluggish. I, I'm absolutely at my max memory usage. This is incredible. Like, it, it, it is just using all of the allocated memory possible. It is trying to figure this out. I mean, th this is I mean, they is, did increase it to 64-bit, I think, right? Yeah, I mean, this is, this is an absolute work of art this is incredible i literally just chose the permanent that i wish to keep and it's just it's in full lockdown now here's here's what i'm gonna do um i want you to concede and we're gonna see how long it takes oh god <laughs> okay like I, i'm, all, I'm, all, I'm, I am I'm scared the, like the power is gonna go out in my building or something like yeah well to be fair i think arena is not gonna concede i think it's gonna crash the concession is going to crash the, the process. Yeah, because here's the thing. Like, with each, I now have 60. Oh, what? It didn't even play the audio. 
It interrupted everything. Yes! Okay. So I don't know who crashed in the world, but somebody just had a heart attack. <laughs> somebody somewhere died. Yeah. For this. Yeah, the... This is the modern Death Note. Oh my god, it worked! The modern Death Note. <laughs> like... Yeah, yeah, Yagami Light is somewhere with the book and he's right. He's like, Noxious, comma, the in-game player, not the person, comma, 1,000 creatures. <laughs> it worked. It worked. So now, I, I just want to let you know, Sean. Yeah. The next time we start a game, you're going to be running with the same FPS drops. Is that true? Yeah, you want to try? Well, maybe not the same, but you're gonna be you're, you're gonna wonder why Arena is is struggling so much. It's just gonna be like a hangover. The the, the, the game is just gonna be oh. it's gonna wake up like whoa. The last game was wild. We should have been there. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly intro this next deck, which is yeah. all Landy focused, and okay. then we're gonna see how it goes. Okay, okay. Sure. This is we we're actually we. QA as entertainment. Like that's what we are. We're, we're <laughs> hunting for bugs. <laughs> This is uh, bug jutainment right now. This is this is amazing. All right, all right. so here here here's this list. I'm gonna give you the unbelievable quick gist of this. Rod hop. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands from the top of your library. You can pay six. Rod hop gets plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is the number of lands you control. We have uh, scape shifts to get more lands out. Cultivates. Crucible of Worlds to play them from the graveyard. We have three Asusa Lost But Seekings to get extra lands out per turn. Then we can thud a gigantic Radha to deal damage to any target, aka you, for a giant amount with Radha. Okay. Okay, my, my audio is no longer playing. My audio is no longer playing. It doesn't play anymore. Dude, Knox, my audio's busted. Yeah, your your audio processing is is busted. It just it's, yeah. it doesn't work. Yeah, of course, uh, Arena just does that. <laughs> you you wouldn't believe that. That's just it ran yeah. out of. I mean, I mean, it's look. like shutting the emergency engine. Like, you know what? You know when um, when you're doing something really intense, like uh, let's say lifting <laughs> weights. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Of course, no, yeah. Some some that we tough guys do. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. girl, you're just li you're lifting weights. That's what you're doing, Sean. Yeah. And then uh, you're not hungry, right? You don't digest. If you ate too much, you can't. Your body's not focused on digestion. So you digest yeah. just slower. Your body is not a priority. When arenas yeah. go in that hard, when the audio wants to do something, arenas like, nope, not the time. That's... This is not it. Gosh, that so makes that's what so happened. much yeah. sense. That's exactly what happened. Like, I think that there's like a high and low priority audio. Yeah. Because because I'm just getting the whoosh effects. I'm not getting any of the thud effects. So when I play a land, it doesn't go woo. It just goes whoo, and then okay. drops. Like like like. Listen to this. Like <laughs> I, I heard the thud. I I heard the thud. No, it, it doesn't work on my machine. <laughs> this is just it's so like this. So, so it, it just stopped. Now it just gave up. So it it didn't come back. It's not coming back. No, it's it's over. I mean, it's this smooth is, for now. This is like when the flashbang goes off in the war movie, where with the person only hears weird, crispy noises, and they're looking around in the smoke. <laughs> the psych says, MTG ASMR. Yeah, this is... For one, let's go ahead and play a little bit of magic. I have cards... Are you okay, Sean? Yeah, no, I, I'm thinking Azusa. of doing some. Azusa. Oh yeah, this is okay. God, this is some of the. This is incredible. This is so nice. Okay. Now listen, I'm gonna. I'm You're gonna, gonna get... what? Gonna oh no. A little ASMR here while we're okay. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how people who do ASMR don't laugh all the time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. I I just opened up uh, subscription voting for what letter you want me to make, and uh, oh. F got the vote. Here we go, everyone. This is the letter F. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Talk to me dirty, Sean. I like Hold it on. like that. Hold on, I gotta... Can you do Z? Do me a Z. <laughs> like a bumbling bee, Sean. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just sounds so funny. Let me just. <laughs> it's just. Okay, Sean. Half the sounds are playing on my computer. <laughs> oh, okay. You've got good stuff, though. Your, your yeah, deck is. is it's. It's this deck, It rips and it slaps. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. Oh man. Oh yeah. There are children around. I mean it's it's just so it's so gentle. It's so soft. That's not the word that comes to mind, but yeah, I guess gentle works, yeah. Okay, so if I Okay. So if I... So or Shaman can shuffle your deck, basically. So if your top deck is not a land for Rada, you can just sort of ignore yeah. that. Okay, what? that's kinda cool actually. I like it. I like that concept. I think it's sweet. Okay, that's a big creature. Ha ha! Dude, just, oh, but it doesn't just have listen haste. It doesn't have this. trample. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's so funny, man. It's so funny. This is, I mean, <laughs> oh, oh my god, when you shot it, it was like... <sighs> okay, it didn't actually give you anything but just the... So what yeah. channel is this on? They must be running multiple channels at once, and some of them are just disabled right now. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. like, like it was the difference between someone <laughs> spitting a mouthful of water and then someone just yeah. opening their mouth and letting the water fall out with gravity. Like that goblin just <laughs> it just leaked damage onto my Lanawar elf. Nice moves. I can't even pay attention to what this deck is about. I'm just playing goblins. Um, it's going to take a while for us to get to where we want to get, just based on how slowly the game plan is coming together, but let me, let me go it'll ahead make sense eventually. Fauna our way out of here. Is there is there an Elvish Rejuvenator in this thing? Is there a Rejuvenator in this deck? No. An Elvish no. Rejuvenator. That's just a, a land fetcher. Don't you have enough lands? I want even more lands, you know. Wow, all all these options are terrible. Uh, I don't know. I'll just use it to shuffle the deck for now. Have you played um, Azusa with uh, stuff like Spark Double? No. Oh, that's that's your plasma right there. Hold on. Let me let me one, two, three. You're kind of quiet. Four. Did you move the mic away, or are you just whispering in our ears? No, still? I, it's it's so hard for me to yell when there's no sound coming out. Like everything's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. This is the lack oh, of man, audio feedback is... that's making me. It's making you want to stay quiet. I keep thinking this is going to be four mana, and it's not. It's six. It's no, six it's every six. time. It's really yeah, it's expensive. Just, it, it's it's yeah. messing with my mind. It's messing with my mind. It's really pricey. This is incredible. You know what? Will I block this? No. I'll take the damage. Underworld Breach. I'm not hearing anything. This is incredible. Wait, what? Why can't I cast Light Up for one red? Let's see. The escape cost is equal to. Oh the no! Man you're cost. right. Escape yeah. cost is okay. You know. You know what? Never mind. I'm gone. Never what? mind. I, uh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm a bit. I'm, I'm a bit not... daft. I'm a bit daft. <laughs> right. Daft Knox. dude. No, I'm daft. Dude, I gotta. I gotta admit, I... this is this is surreal. This has been like a surreal day of magic. We like the game doesn't operate. This is incredible. Like there's no audio anymore. It's just silence. Land. I have no idea what's even happening. All right, so where I, I, is I, this card? I think I can kill you this turn, but I'm not 100. percent I've been wrong most turns. Let's get this one. I'm just trying to sort out what the hell's going on with my cards. I can't figure out which is where. 
which ones are in the grave, which ones are in exile, which one are in the hen, which one are, where are they? Uh, it's, it, it's unclear even to me. So I need to attack with one, two. Wait, what? Hold up. Oh, we'll oh no, it's Amber Cleave. Be like a cleaved person. Here it comes. <laughs> there's just, there's no audio at all. It's all completely gone. Excellent. Bang, bam. Like, I, I'm just watching. There is no more audio happening in Magic. This is incredible. I, I, I gotta say, I'm still so amazed that the engineering even works. There were thousands of things to track. And, like, so many sounds that the throat of the game dried out. <laughs> you want to restart your audio? <sighs> yeah, hold on. Let me, let me close the game, and now let me look at my memory <laughs> usage. Sure. Okay, if I go to performance. I mean, it's got to be better, though. So, like, I just have to ask, to the person who submitted Six. this deck, like, what what about Embercleave made you think, oh, yeah, this is exactly the right fit. Because That's it's exactly a, what... It's a Radha deck, man. You you, you just get big it's... with Radha. Okay. Just, like, a buff Barbarian or something? Because I thought it was a yeah. lands deck at first, right? I was like, oh, lots of lands, Azusa, Ramp, Experimental Frenzy, you know, get all those Wayward Swordtooths, yeah. Elves, and then it just was just... It was like a reskin Voltron deck. The goal was just to make one big legendary good. Yeah, kind yeah. Kind of like but Rift it, the Redeemed. It, it gets more power based upon the number of lands. So that's what I like the Riz up. deck. Yeah. The Riz deck was fun. That was a very elf legendary deck. Let's see. I've We've only played... Three games. Three games. I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's, let's go into game four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here here is Jules Vert's Riss deck. So see how Zerda, abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. The effect can't reduce the mana cost to less than one. Now, high alert, you can spend, using a Zerda, you can spend just white blue to untap a creature. So we can tap, untap, tap, untap infinitely to make infinite tokens. We have a bunch of Vivians here. As some extra powerful reach. Oh, reach is probably the wrong term. Some extra powerful. Hunting for elf type lasses. This has been spectacular. This has been spectacular. I can't believe. <laughs> you know, let's try to break it again. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay, Sean? Dude. Get your audio back. Dude, it, it's all working, and I, I have some news that I'm really excited to share with you. Okay, um, go ahead. This is a tokens deck. This is a tokens. It wasn't the other one a tokens deck too. Yeah, this is this, this is one a different, is more this, of a tokens deck. This is it's a Zerda tokens deck. You know, I'm gonna. Okay, can I try to guess what you're trying to do? Oh please, please go ahead. All right, uh, Zerda plus. Uh, Marwin plus mm -hmm. Emil the Blessed. Ooh, no, it's 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 close, but not not. What it. is this? What is dragon fodder? Oh my god! It's goblin. It's a goblin maker. Oh my god! All right, you have Skirk Prospector that can eat some goblins here. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah it does. It does that. Let me get a Marwin. Marwin. Out. All right. So I, I, I was right about Morrowind. I'm, I was not right about everything, but I was right about Morrowind. Oh, this is going to be good. It is. Double vision. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, copy it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging it. You digging it? I am. I mean, I, I am somewhat, in a way, one that does... Dig it. <laughs> Dig it. Oh, hold up. Are you trying to play off the top now? Come on. What is going on? Not, not necessarily. What you know, possible... I'm gonna go with... What are you even... What is this even? I know, what I know, even I know, is I know, this? I know it's a beast. I know it's a beast. I know what you're going to say. This is supposed to be an elf deck, not a beast deck. But, but no, just cool you wait, that. mister. Okay. Goblin okay. Gathering. Yeah, it's a one, gathering one. of goblins. 
Tis a gathering of goblins. Now the question is, what are you gonna do? I don't trust you, Sean. I'm not even sure. I, I don't trust the damn thing. Okay, hold on. Hold on to the phone. I'm gonna minus two. Hold on. Wait, what? So that way, whenever I cast someone yeah. such as a Selvala. Oh God. Okay, I see where this is going. I see where it is going. I I think I see it. Where is Emil the Blessed though? You gotta have it, right? You gotta be blinking some unicorns. I'm just gonna get rests right now. All right. I mean, I, I dig it, mostly. Is Vivian an elf? Um, I don't, I don't think so. I Is have she? my doubts. Is Vivian an elf? Does she, anyone? She does not seem elvish. No. She seems uh, uh unelf-like. Not very elfy. Apparently, this is an elf. Oh my gosh, look at this. Everyone's saying yeah. this is an elf. You know, we gotta believe him. Zerda the Dawn Waker is not an elf. It's a fox. All right, we have an owl sword <laughs> shepherd. Here it is. Bam. All right. That's a, that's a big okay. thing. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Now there's there there are some pickles that I'm dealing with. You, some pickles. Okay, let's see them. Dude, frantic inventory. Yeah. F Dude, any is it spell duplication deck? Thousand Year Storm. Double Vision. Any of these is just the best. A gutter snipe. I mean, I, this deck should have had probably Thousand Year Storm, right? Oh, this it, is. It, tight. it feels like it should have, right? Does it not? Oh. It does not, no. <laughs> useless triggers. <laughs> if this happens, triggers. if this happens, if this happens. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, we actually just don't have a way to do this, huh? You don't? Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, did I? I think I did it. What does Zerda do? It's for Allosaurus Shepherd. I can kind of see that. There's the All rest right. I'm not seeing. Okay, let me let me let me tap this properly. Okay. Uh huh. There we go. Oh, okay. I I think that's it. I mean, yeah, you have I mean, infinite mana, but I'm not sure what else you do with that. Oh, yeah, you can make infinite tokens, but they don't have haste, right? Though true... Wait, 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 wait. Though true what? Yeah, I... Is there a way for me to I'd give like them haste? Does, does this give haste? I mean, I don't see... I don't see trample on your guys, and I don't see haste. So for now... Oh, Sean, I know how you win. How? I'm not gonna tell you though, it's a puzzle! I know how you can win right now with infinite mana. If you can spell it out for me, I'll give you the win. Okay. Um. Oh my uh, god. Ah. Uh, I found it. So. There is no haste nor trample involved. There isn't. No. You need none of those things, I think. Wait, hold up. You might need them. Oh yeah, you need you need you, haste. You, Never mind. You have, you I have lied. Eight blockers. Okay. Yeah, so I, you, you can't win. I lied, Sean. I lied. There's haste needed. You need haste. Okay, so I'm gonna try. To, I'm gonna go find haste. Okay. I'm you, going to. You you have no haste. Have you haste? Dost right, thou let, have haste? Let's untap this lady. <laughs> Indefinitely. All right. Uh, yeah. No, we're, we're gonna have to do some, some things here. This is this is gonna be a little stupid. Okay. Not not a ton stupid, but it's gonna be a little stupid. Oh, you right? want to make the incubation and things, so, so you simplify your tap thing. Yeah. Tap well, tap. Well, it, it, it's it's a little different than that. I need to get. Uh. I need to get this, I need to get Zerta out to reduce the. Untap uh, the cost of my high alert. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, so this okay. is we we have some there are some complexities at hand. 
Okay. Yeah. No. But without haste, you still don't have it, right? Uh, I that's think. right. But I'm. Go but see, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get enough mana. Uh huh. Um. Oops. Okay. I'm gonna try to Vivian read to be able to get enough mana. Okay. Let me first. Oh shit. I use. Yeah, you're out of white. Yep, I'm out of white. I'm devastated. I'm devastated. That's oh, fine. I see. But what do you have? I like. I have no idea. Not so much. All right. Well, let me just... That's not it. It's not <laughs> I don't it. think that's what you were it's digging for. It. It's not. All right, let's make an elf. Tight. <laughs> Shit. All right, pass along. Now, what I also could have done is. Instead of playing the Zerda, I could have used the Fauna Shaman to discard to find something that generates haste. We're going to do this next turn. We're going to do this like next what? turn. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea what could possibly be the elf. I'm not sure. But I'm also not sure I live through the turn. Because you have a lot of 1-1 one -one goblins. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I do. It's true. <laughs> I mean, you might think that this is happening slowly, but you're wrong. So I thought, you know, I was dead because you could get infinite mana with infinite Zerda untaps, where you prevent each of my creatures from blocking. But without haste. That haste doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a real tragedy. But do you have a haste giver in the deck? Is what uh, I want to. Everybody question. wants me, to know. Me... Everybody wants to know. Do you have one? Let's see here. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So Crap. the combo was just meant to be a thing you just randomly got, and then there's no. Uh, and, uh, and it's, it's it's horrible. Well, I, I okay. have one final deck I want to showcase before we play. Sure, a best, best of three. Best of three. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna jump Cue right it up, into go. it. We actually took I think like maybe 45 minutes in that one game where everything was lagging out. It was fascinating. It's fascinating. Yeah. My my next deck is uh, my coolest deck. Oh. So I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I hope you like All it. Right. This one's clean. What I'm doing. This is a clean one. This one relies on Kethis or Kethis or Thethis. Legendary spells you cast cost one less to cast, and I can exile two legendaries from the graveyard to play more legendary things. Did you know there's a lot of legendary elves like Riss the Redeemed? Like Amara, Soul of the Accord? Did you know that Tolsimir, Friend to Wolves, is an elf? Did you know that Izoni, Thousand Eyed, is an elf? We also have a Poison Tip Archer for some ping pongs, Okame Ranger for some more, just, I guess, generalized value, Marwyn. Oh, we know she's legendary. Imperious, perfect. We can make all sorts of extra tokens. Oh yeah. Brodeo Clown's Keithus deck is gonna keep us in high spirits. But is Vivian an elf? I think I think the sentiment is yes. Yes, she is. Good old Keithith. Keithith. Enemies of lisps everywhere. No, Nis is an elf. Okay, Nis is an elf. All right, I, I got Sean. Hello, hello. Show me what you got. Yeah, I have a I have a cool deck. Okay, this deck is actually quite straightforward. Yours? Yes. Oh, mine is straight. super complicated. Mine is very. Com oh, you have no no spell. You have only creatures. Okay. All right. Yeah. Umor is in the side. A cave enters the battlefield tapped. Okay, you so, may yeah. at any point discard it for one red mana to cycle it into a new card. This, in magic, is known as cycling. I love this. I lo they should actually have your voice play whenever you hover over a card and see rules text. You just begin to belch. And then the, the guy has to read the quest and he's like, well... In this particular case, this card has it has the this card also prevents damage from being dealt. This cannot be blocked by Kajupa two or less because it has to cram within a certain time frame. You have to the voiceover, oh. 
You have to standardize the length of the or, voiceover. Or they could embed Winamp in each card, and you could actually have a different track <laughs> for like each quality of it. And uh, a questing beast is a whole CD. I can yeah. see it. I can see it. Oh, Goblin. I can Captain. see it. Come on. Come yeah. on. Come on. Come on, Mike. Now, I'm just going to do the, the most straightforward play of all time. Did you know that Tulsimir is an elf? What? Yeah. He, yeah, I guess he does look like... Uh, what's his name? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm taking this out. I'm just, this is going to be a clean, easy win. This is what I'm going for. Just the cleanest, Ooh, easiest wins. You targeted this. You're trying to you're trying to target me with this thing. Mm-hmm. 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 Bam. Does no that life. actually stop? Oh. Yeah, it's not as a life gain. You gain three life and that creature fights up to one target creature, and because it has no target, nothing happens. Yeah. Oh. Been oh, does he meet so it? hard, man. Yeah. Now. I guess this wolf's name is Voja, friend to elves. I never really caught on to that. I guess I'm a bit yeah. stupid, huh? I yeah, never I mean, even I... realized. I'm not paying attention enough to lore these days, let me tell you that much. Lore. Lore. In 2020. <laughs> Just play Uro. <laughs> While you're reading the cards, hold up, what? That's right. Okay, this is such a flavorful deck in that I like all these cards together have probably never put in the same deck. Like no yeah. one ever thought I'm gonna play all the yeah. There's just there's nothing here that I could have predicted. I think. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, like Okay Ranger is one of these cards that when you look at the cost, you're like, it's too long. It's too long of a cost. Oh god. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's one symbol uh -huh. too long. I mean, good lord. Oh, you're an Abzon, too. Oh, wow. That. So you play Izoni, then. The Thousand-Eyed, indeed. Ah. Uh. Okay. I can I can see it. Does that have Trample? It, it doesn't. Don't. It's just, it's just it, a it don't. It don't have the Trample. I am all out. Oh, dude, I love summoning tokens. This is so awesome. There's something so really good. wholesome about it. I agree. What? You can just take you can five, just Aiden. Deal five damage. I can just do that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, while drawing a card too. Yeah. You understand now why that card was really, really good way back when? It was yeah. really, really, really good. It was I mean, it really, really, good. really, really, really good. Like really and, that good. It was that good. I can even hear it. It's it not just really silently good. going. <laughs> I'm really good. Okay, uh, Umori the Collector. Creature. I love that Umori discounts the cost of OK Ranger precisely zero. <laughs> it's just like, nah, it's not so good. You know, it, it, it does not interact. <laughs> yeah, I, I am don't, a no. highly specific card. See you later, friend of elves. Elf old buddy, old pal. Uh, I now no longer have creatures or hope. Hope? Ooh, also, Franco. Why I say you this? I say me this because. Oh no, 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 no. no. Why I say it thee? I like it, the black mana. Oh, I want, I want to be able to do oh, stuff. Oh, Castle Garenbrig, you're so smart. Did somebody tell you that before? Sean? I made this. No one's Here. ever said it to me. Never. This is yep. a world first. <laughs> you calling me smart today. You're a genius, Sean. I'm going in with everybody. Couldn't care less. You want to kill him more? You mean you could care less, right? It isn't the case that I couldn't <laughs> not not care less. It's not oh, what I'm saying. Heard. Okay, so are you using like literally or figuratively? I or... don't not want to be clear on this, okay? <laughs> okay, I, yeah, that makes sense. I agree. I would, uh, I would do the same thing. I see how it is. I see Sean. Infinite life gain. Dude, I gotta say my favorite thing ever in Guilds of Ravnica was March of the Multitudes Zing for like 15 and then having all 15 block a... Oh. And suddenly silence fell upon the plains. Who runs? Who runs <laughs> a star of extinction? Wept. 
It's a it's a deck where you're building a board too. Why would you do this to me? I can't oh my god! For this fodder. Oh, that's nasty. No, don't zone me. God, no, no, <laughs> no, no, not yes. Sony, not now. Yes. Oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, Starcraft. We call that Ehan god. timing. Ehan god. timing. Yes. Oh no. yes. Oh Bosh, the cow. The cow? Yeah, dude, when Obosh gets played, it goes like moo. Does it? I never it even sure knew. Does. I never knew. It was mooing it goes all day. Moo. It goes moo. Moo. Absolutely. Obosh is the moo the cow king. Boy. He's the cow king. I'm not gonna attack yet. Dude, if you draw yeah. another Star of Extinction... Oh, gosh, Goblin Gathering! I, I I did not know it was quite so sick. It's not that good, but it, it like if you can get it uh, back with the rest, Ooh. it's pretty... Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What is real? Basically, you're just running... like Theme of the day is L versus Goblins. Really, it's Riss. It's Riss. Riss it's is a, your it's, theme. It's Riss day. It's, it's Riss. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, oh no. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on! Come on! Come on, my! Oh my gosh, you have the Skirk Prospect. You, you just blow up my whole board. Alright, goodbye. Good day. Good day, mate. Okay, who are you shooting? You're shooting Azoni again? Well, let's Did anybody this. submit a Thousand Year Storm Goblin Gathering deck? Somebody asked. We were really mm. close to that just the game before, but no, it wasn't quite uh, quite that. Close. Oh. But not quite. I see, I, I hear the sound, oh, and I'm just not sure that I like oh. it. Yeah. I'm not I mean, sure you I can, like it. You can, you can shoot Risk the Redeemed if that's what you want to do. I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm good. What on earth? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? Is that an elf? It's an elf! It's Why an elf. Why are they all elves? They're all elves. All day. Every single day. Actually, do I just want... Wait, what do you mean? Do you mean that dude is an elf? I... Why is everybody an elf? You know what? Goblins are all the same. All elves, I feel like you have so many interesting elves. All my goblins are the same thing. There's like a dude that makes more dudes. Right? And all your elves are like, oh, I, I interact with the graveyard. I interact with the board. I fight you. I gain your life. I grow big. I gain mana. And I'm just like, I make oh, people. Yeah. I make more <laughs> people. I just make it's, a lot of people. I just, I, I summon more and more and more and more. I'm like a farm. It's just a lot of people. In the Midwest. Oh, yes. Hold up. I gotta, like, I probably gotta go kill this thing. I, I've seen this before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I, I just realized now, if I, if I just threw everything at your face, you're probably dead, right? Like, if I just started slinging all the oh, goblins, yeah. oh, you'd yeah. probably have I mean, been dead a long time ago. I wasn't gonna say it. I wasn't gonna yeah. say it. I just realized, like, you have 24 life, that's six goblins. You know, you, you were probably very dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, are you still dead? I might be. I might yeah, be. I don't know. Are you? You find out, you start sacking stuff. I, I didn't do the math. Yeah, that's the complicated part about magic. It's like, you gotta... When you gotta think, I'm out. That's it. That's it. I, I don't think that's enough, Sean. I, I don't want to hit that the next button. No, I mean, I, it should I, be I, enough, right? It's, it's, I don't think it's enough. I just don't oh, think it's enough. Oh, that's right. No, you, you're, you are short of mana. I'm a bit short, yeah. Short of mana. Short of mana. Yeah. And it's already gone now. I've just it's too late. I've already mulched all these goblins into damage. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's too okay. Late. It's okay. Too late, We're gonna be fine. Alright. Now I close. think I think I can do it. I think I can do it. See, if I hadn't killed your woodland champion, I would have won this game. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I... This, this could have been the time. 
So Okay, now I think I know the play here. What is it? <laughs> Figured it out. <laughs> Simple, but it's like Spotted lethal. I like it. I like it. Spotted lethal. Do you want to play a game of that... magic? It's the most complex game on planet Earth. Computers can't solve it. At all. <laughs> yeah. They've solved chess. You know, I, I, I have watched way too many documentaries that try to state the bigness of something by comparing it to something that is also stupid. Yeah. It's like there, <laughs> like... there are more possibilities in Magic the Gathering than there are craters on all moons in the galaxy. And I'm like, is that a lot of craters? I don't know. Is that... There, more, there, than, uh, than atoms in the universe, right? They than could atoms in Lake Michigan. I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. Okay, just say it's it's plenty. I I much uh, prefer like ten to the fortieth. Like, just give me that. It's a one with like forty zeros. Yeah, that that is That's at clean. least more concrete. Clean. It's like it has more poss. You can't know the number of possibilities in this, and it's as many as this other thing that you can't know. And I'm like, all right, okay, I'll you know I'll watch <laughs> to the end of the commercial. It's fine. It's like uh, when somebody compares the taste of food. But they're actually a foodie, so they know all the tastes of so many foods you've never heard of. Like, oh, yeah. This, this tastes exactly like that other thing that you've never heard about from some country like, you probably only, like, tangentially even yeah. heard about. And it's some specific niche meal or dish from a region of that country. You're like, I don't know. Yeah, what does no, that mean? or, is or it when you go to those <laughs> is it super. Sweet? Yeah, no, please explain it bluntly. Like, I do not have a sophisticated palate. I really like, for instance, Doritos. That's a good example of a food that just tastes like cheese and burning. And I like that sensation. But when you start talking about it, it's like an acidic jasmine air. I'm like, those are just nouns. You're just listing off <laughs> nouns next to each other. That's like, not how does thing. green taste? Oh, well, you know, it tastes like... No, no, stop. <laughs> no, is it, stop. is it salty? Is it hot? Is it cold? So here's what's going to happen. So, we... What would green be? Oh, hold up. Yeah, okay, I'm green. sorry. I... Green. Green. What, 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 is the flavor? what does green, green taste like? Well, uh, as someone who did uh, field sports in high school, um, <laughs> I can't think about anything except the way that grass tastes when you eat shit after trying to dive t to catch a frisbee, right? So like, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. I like it. I like. It. I was thinking, you know, green apple, lime, but you can, we can go with grass. No, it, it's like that fine. mossy, totally bitter cool. plantiness, right? Like, yeah, like, and you know, as an adult, it's gotta I, have I, the yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, the, the idea of, um, cause like with, with plants and like salads and stuff, I don't feel like I ever chew salad. I feel like what I do is I fold it until it is just a paste that is coating all of my teeth. And then I kind of abandon <laughs> folding it. I just give up and go, fine, I guess I'll swallow. Like you, you never, I've never had a mouthful of salad. And so that bitter, exhausting chewing process is what I think of when I think of the taste of green. I like it. I think that's a very yeah. apt comparison. Yeah, well, you know, given that this is Goblin versus Elves, I want to then switch to you and ask, what is red taste like? How would you describe red? That one time I ate uh, a ghost pepper. I, if, you know, red just You've does it. It just kind of... Yeah. I, I love happened? spicy stuff. Listen, I eat ghost pepper sauce every day. But, like, the ghost pepper... It's not quite the same as, you know, a very, yeah. very hot sauce. Yeah, that's... On one that, hand, you're like, I can't talk, it burns. The other one is... Yeah, no, I mean, it, it's like the difference between Miller Lite and pure ethanol, right? Like... <laughs> yes, that's a good way to put it. Oh, you know, you might, you might nice. be able to appreciate some amount of ethanol, but not... <laughs> it needs to be diluted with... Yeah. With bubbles or something like that. So, so, so let's, let's with crispy let's, water. With some of that crispy water, some of that crispy water, baby. We're we're going to do a best of three using some of our favorite decks. Well, not sure. best of three. We're gonna we're gonna play three games, and this will determine truly what is the better mix: goblins or elves. And I'm absolutely gonna do Dana Fish's Crater Elf style elf deck. I'll use the good one then in response, and then we'll go on and and play. So we want to just determine which tribe is the best. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like Crater yeah. Elfin. I like it. Challenge. Challenge. All right. View challenge. View challenge. I mean, you already know what I'm doing. I'm doing the Crater Elf. Yeah, I'm doing the... Go White goblin. goblin. Yeah, the big goblin guy. Goblin King. W what's his name? Muxus? Muxus. Uh, 
I I miss, I accidentally heard somebody calling mucus because of yeah. autocorrect, but I'm okay with calling a slimy green thing mucus. Yeah, I, I can run with that. I'm I can run with that. All right, the Lanowar Elf. It begins. Ooh, siege gang commander on the top. Oh, and that's yeah, cute. Yeah. You can you can sacrifice this goblin <laughs> to deal damage. Yeah, you can you can already use the siege gang if you want to. Not that you should, but you can. It is an option. Okay. All Not right. the best thing I've ever done. If I can just get to an early turn crater hub, that's all I need. That's all I need. Yeah, I skipped a land drop, so this may be a little bit more difficult. Oof. Yeah, we have another Crater Hoof next turn, then, given how this is going out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. All right. Abandoned so, ship. so I feel as like, though we are somewhat close. We are somewhat close. But I don't feel like we're all the way close. You know what I mean? I mean, like, to getting the win? To doing something, right? I feel like I have all the tools in place except for a Crater Hoof Behemoth. Uh -huh. I don't have anything that can really fetch stuff. I can, like, make tokens. I always want to call this the Imperious Prefect, but it's Imperious Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's the perfect. I don't know what to do here. On. That's good. That's that's really good news. No that's land, not no good land at all. I hate it. I hate all of this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to yeah pop him. Back one of those guys. Make this dude come out. I think that's the play. But I'm Here not sure. Time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels fine, but I don't love it. Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. That <laughs> was that sound. Oh. Oh yeah. no! You found the finale. Okay, you found the fin you found the finale. Okay, there it is. Here we go. All right, folks. Oh my God, this is. This it was this nice knowing you. So I think we were playing like 18 lands, um, which is the problem. Oh my It is gosh. the problem. I'm just, I'm just figuring out who I want to tap. Finale of devastation. Search your library. Oh my God, yes, Crater Hoof Behemoth. Oh, that feels incredible. Do any of these have trample? Every one of them has trample. Oh my god. You'll notice I didn't use my mouse. I hit the space bar. Yes. Crater Elf Behemoth. Oh, oh thank god. Oh. 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 That, was a, that, was a, that was a very balanced back and forth game. I, You know. I yeah. Was, uh... Yeah. If it, it, it felt really nice. Like, you didn't draw land. It felt really nice. It was a really nice experience. <laughs> like, uh, what did you play Magic for? Watching the magic oh happen. God. Yeah, no, I, I, I value that experience. I I don't even know what I want to do now. I just am so happy to have cast a Crater Hope Behemoth. It's like my favorite thing ever. I'm bringing, you know out, I'm bringing out the big guns. Well, not the um, big guns, but like the, the the smaller guns, but hopefully the fun guns. The, the more consistent guns. You're bringing out uh, the guns uh, the that... Weird, yeah, kind of the weird the, guns. The weird, I don't know. Is... Weird guns. I like the weird guns. That sounds like a cool band yeah. name. You the know, if guns. we if we actually asked our viewers to submit guns to us, they would make the, the thing that fires the bullet back into the chamber to reload itself. Like, it would be the absolute most useless... <laughs> Possible, like, yeah, but then eventually it would blow up or, or get used, so you just yeah, no, still end up with a completely the server would speed. crash. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would it would lead to nothing. There oh, would be no God. follow up. All right, so now here's the best part in a goblins what? versus elves matchup. Okay, this is my turn one most of the time. I reveal nothing. I reveal nothing. Nothing's been revealed. I have not seen a thing. I have a history with persistent petitioners. Oh, you do? I do. I do. 
This card, target player okay, builds now, a card. This, this is now, now I know what's going on. Now I know what's going on. This is, this is the brain lagged deck. Yep, <laughs> shut deck where your the brain servers goes, down. Bro, bro. Yeah, you just, everything breaks. I know this deck. Shut the servers down. I'm on the wrong screen, I'm told. You're on the right one as far as I'm concerned. So, here's the thing. What? I don't have my combo anywhere close to assembled But yet. you'll find and it. You just have to scry. It is a good day to scry. Well, time to get one of these. Time that's not, to get one of these. That's not bad. That's not bad. Hmm. Hmm. So if you get enough small little goblins, that's a goblin advisor. Uh huh. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna turn everything into advisors and mill me out because you can tap. I four. don't know, Sean. Target player mills twelve. Jesus. That's the thing. I don't know. I've done this with advisory lands before. Advisory advisory what lands? Lands. <laughs> advisory okay. lands. It was really it was really awesome. Okay. I, that's not a thing I expected, but you know, let's run. Get misses out, yeah. Give them all indestructible, and then turn all of them into advisors. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, the Zendikar's royal combo they had. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I feel like I feel like I ought to already have the combo. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Like it's there. But well, then it's kind of not quite. You ever feel that way? Like Oof. it's kind of not quite. Yeah, no, I, I have that feeling. I'd say with like eight out of ten decks I play with on this show. <laughs> why <laughs> like, did the Why did the game do this to me? I'm so disappointed. I could have used the snoop before, like the ability before that happened. Oh, there's a goblin. Well, you know, let's go. Let's do it. I guess, right? Let's get theater can come out. That is fine. This is... I actually... This is an issue. What is? I don't... I don't have my... My stuff. I'm missing my stuff. <laughs> You're missing your stuff. I don't have... I'm missing my stuff. Are you Gandalf? <laughs> Am I Gandalf? <laughs> and Gandalf turned to the Balrog and said... I'm missing, I'm missing my, my stuff. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Alright, I'm gonna play the Woe Strider. Doo -doo. All right, the Strider the of Woe. All right, let's get this out. Okay, a risk right. redeemed. So I don't actually know anything about the lore about risks. What exactly was redeemed about risks? Do you know? I don't have a clue. You don't know. Nightmare You're essentially shepherd. useless to me right now, Sean. Yeah, truth, 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 truth. We need a Nightmare Shepherd, and we need what else? What else do we need? Nightmare Shepherd, probably that Pirate oh, Star Oh, I Scout. see what it is. I see what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I, uh, I think I we're get doing it. it. Yeah, we're doing it. Well, okay. I need I need to be really careful because milling me for 12 a turn is a lot. It's a lot. It is true. It is true. Jesus, there's a Samut. Dude, I'm, I'm so going to go kaput here, man. The, like, can I just win here? Yeah, if you summon enough 1-1s, one you, <laughs> you should get to beat me. Okay, I have 31 cards. Okay, yeah. so there's the instigator. And what's what's the other card in your hand? <laughs> I mean, surely I've got this. I mean, I think... I play at least one copy of this guy, right? One copy of what guy? I don't play a copy of this guy. Who's this guy? Skirk Prospector. Who's the guy? That guy. I feel like if I could Skirk Prospector my way into this, you know, this could be the end. Because I could oh, have them all no for... <laughs> I, could, yeah. I could tap them all for 12 and then sacrifice them all for mana to get more goblins and stuff. You know oh what I God. mean? But I'm 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 very close to dead because you can mill me for twenty four. True. I literally not, need Samut on the top. That's what I need. 
So, do you want to do you want to make me sweat for it? Nah. Uh, if I get salmon well, on the top, we just win. You do? Now that I've said that out loud, I'm not 100% on that, but we're going to find out. All right, let's do it. My heart is beating so fast. You're such an asshole. You're such an asshole. You, you, I should have known the moment you stopped talking. I should have known. I should have known. I don't want to open my eyes. I should have opened. Uh. Uh. That's actually pretty clever. Are you going to recycle the salmon to the bottom? Yeah, I certainly feel You know, that's not, that's not a bad move. That is clever, actually. I hadn't considered that. All right. Your face oh. right now speaks of something My great God. having happened. Yeah. I am absolutely going to reclamation stage. There's one in the deck. Bing, bong, boom. Kapow. Now, what do you do? Do you do you try to advisory land me? Or advisory mill me? I, I gotta try. It's never getting any better than that. It's oh never no! Better. My Samet's now at the bottom! <laughs> Shit. Okay, so I probably Maybe you can this. draw to Samet. Okay, two. You have, a, you have a lot of card draw. Five, seven, eleven... 14, 15. I can deal 15 damage to you this turn. If you sacrifice enough stuff to Will Strider, you can get... To, the thing is, can you draw one card? I don't see that you can draw a card. Oh! You could have scryed everything to get Salmon to the top. Right now. But I don't know if I would then have enough... Mana? I don't know if I, don't know if I could do anything, yeah. Fair enough. Ah... <sighs> Farts. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, like... It's kind of a shame not to have the Skirk Prospector in this deck. I won't lie to you. I'm a bit bummed that we don't have Skirk. I, mean, that's, that's I feel like it's a perfect right fit for the deck. Yeah, no, this, th this moment right now is the intensity of what the deck like the 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 sensational single copy of reclamation reclamation sage now what what could possibly be the thing you're searching for i'm, I'm gonna tell you as soon as i figure it out Gosh. all right that'll do it no not quite perfect, but it gets me the closest that I'll okay. ever be. Okay. You want to kill that one? Okay. I think so. All right, here we go. We, we, we're going to make just a horde. A horde of tokens. I oh, see. Oh, yeah. So many tokens. What are we running Matron for if not to fetch Prospector? Well, I think it's to fetch... It, it, you're supposed to turn everything into a goblin with arcane adaptation and then use the Matron to fetch whatever you name the goblin, say, Persistent Petitioners, right? But we should have had at least one Skirk Prospector in the build to guarantee that these boards could have turned into instant kills. Or something close to instant kills, right? Wait, do you have to? Oh, I, I have to? No, you to? may. You have to give a target, but you don't have to blow it up. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I was just like, ah! <laughs> Alright, hold on, we're gonna... Well, here's the question. Should you have blown it up? I don't think so. Because, I mean, non-token non creatures are still fine. Non-token creatures don't uh, give counters and draws.
You're doing a lot of sacrificing, Sean. I'm worried for your health. Yeah, no, I... Sacrifice my creatures to regain my health. Okay, so that's okay now, huh? Okay. All right. So all my creatures now have haste. Yeah. I mean, does that really change anything? It's unclear. It's unclear. It, it probably does, I reckon. I just don't know if it actually does. Because they're one ones right? So they're, they don't come in as, like, million... They don't have infinite mana yet, I don't think. Okay, this is Woe Strider. Yeah, Do I not is. have infinite mana? Oh, shit. No, because all the incubations are in the bin. Whoopsie poopsies. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I hate this thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it, Sean. You got this. I believe next, you, Sean. Next turn, we, we do go infinite. You do? You didn't... Dude, you didn't mill me with the practitioner. I don't have mana. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so how, how how do you do this? How does this happen? I'm not sure, Sean. Maybe like that? Is that enough? I feel like it's got to be close. Okay. But I can't tell. Oh my gosh, we're, we're going to the last card here. <laughs> but what is the last card? Okay. Oh my god, you're kidding me. And uh, no henge. All right, so. But I have the creatures. So now you have exactly six more mana here. All right, wh where is the no, risk? No, no, you, you have it. You have infinite. You got it, Sean. I did you it. You got it. You, you did it. Now, can you do it without crashing? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Yes! Oh, it feels good. Draw your last pathetic card! Done. Oh, so many goats! <laughs> well, which oh, one is the goat? Come on. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll double it once more. Hyrax! You know, Hyrax sounds like a strategy for Terran. Like, you just put it on the high ground. Like, yeah, just, right. Uh, <laughs> you just, like, build a proxy Rax high ground. Oh, just... shit, this game. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't care. We can just... Well, it just, like, it just passes through everything. Uh-oh. I don't know what that means. One eternity later. It's been 84 years. All right, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're starting to get a hold down. <laughs> this is my uh -oh. chance. Uh-oh. This is my chance. Dude, man, dude, the persistent petitioner, if it just did one or two extra mills, I'd be dead. Okay, so I clicked a goat, and I think the game is, is shutting down. What does that mean? Why would it do that? Why, why, why would it freeze? All right, here's the attack step. I'm following. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. You know what we needed in this on this board? Something that triggered whenever, like, you know, a Johnny Sprite Maid and a Soul Sister or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of those. A Linden. <laughs> yeah. Bring. All right. You, you did it, Sean. That was, that was pretty good. That was good. Animate it. <laughs> I feel like elves are better than goblins just from, you know, 
just, just from what we played, I feel like elves are just... They're better elves at jank than goblins because goblins are basically... So here's a secret, Sean. Yeah, Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let you know. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Every goblin player knows this. Okay. There isn't such a thing as goblins. There is Skirk Prospector. And then there oh. are other red things that Skirk Prospector can sacrifice. I see. I see. Yeah. I there mean, isn't goblins. It's not a real thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, the ability to Skirk Prospect out a six cost on turn three is art. It's pure art. Like, look, I'm, it's, it's going to be the final game of the day. I am going to be challenging you with my Radha land deck. I'm going to be doing <laughs> okay. it. Okay. So now I know what you're playing. I can, I can tech against it. Please. Please do. Because, I mean, I think the thing about elves is that there's such consistency with generating of mana. And uh -huh. mana is the doorway to jank. The broken stuff, right? And that's why Skirt Prospector is the only goblin. There is you one smarty goblin. pants, you. <laughs> yeah, there is only one goblin. Oh. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> there is one goblin. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't see it before. You know what? Why not? Let's... Here we go. We have other equipments in the deck, like, you know, Helm of the Host or something? Uh, no Helm of the Host. No Helm of the Host. A good old Wily Goblin. Needs more goblins! Wily Goblin. Pure genius. Uh-oh. Uh oh! I I count five, five mana. But I don't have Muxus. I don't. This is not a. This is not that type of deck, Sean. Me no, I'm not kind of orc. I'm just not. <laughs> what does this do, Sean? Do you think with the mobile release, Hasbro is releasing a cell phone line? Oh, that would be. Phone? amazing and and like it has a sliding expandable screen so like when the board state gets big you just like unroll it yeah oh yeah how wish i to do this oh yeah oh yeah it is <laughs> it is the card that was built for what the deck the mirror march I don't think we have. I think you you had it work once against me. I think you had it work once. Dude, Kibler what? has owned me so so so. <laughs> With that times. card. With that. I've card. tried to make. I feel like every time I've tried it, it's just it's rigged. I think it's rigged. It's rigged to not work when I play it. I can tell you that much. Uh -oh. Let's see. It. Let's go. Let's see how many siege gang commanders you can get. Not so bad. Not bad. Really bad. Really bad for us. I mean, like, ah, oh, much bad. Wow. Okay, I'll. You know what? I gotta start picking off these guys. <laughs> oh man. That's wasted if mana if I don't use strike. it. Is this? Am I dead? I don't know if you're dead. I don't think Feels you are. Feels close. I'd be surprised if you were just straight up dead. You have so many goblin chumpy bumpies. This gets sacked at the end of turn, right? Yeah, so I gotta sacrifice it to itself. Okay. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I, I wasn't I'm, as bad as you thought. Sure, frightened. Me okay, enough. you can replay Fable Passage many times. You know what? That is smart, and clever, and brilliant. Oh my <laughs> God! Is that good? I mean, this is. I mean, it's funny for sure. But is it good? Okay, you haven't know. played a single land from your graveyard. Not one. What are you clicking? What possible thing are you clicking? There, there it is. You're thudding. 
I'm thudding the siege gang commander. Yes. Uh huh. It is a good All day right. to thud. All right. Fine. 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 It goes I, through. I need this game to go long, go on like real long, like real, real, real long. Mm -mm -mm. I listen, Sean. I'm listening. I'm all ears. I don't Ooh. know what's happening anymore. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't kill you next turn if that's what your concern is. Okay, then, then we have a game of magic. Uh, I don't know where it's going. Me but you neither. can use triple fabled passage in this deck, and then shuffle the top of your deck with Rada. You know, I kind of want to play that in historic now, with uh, spark yeah, doubles for Azusa and something. It Wayward is, it's, sword it's tooth. real nice. Oh, dude, Wayward Swordtooth. The most underrated card ever. I love that card. Uh, I'm not no, sure it's good, it. but, you know. Definitely. 1, 3, 4, uh, 5, so 6. Green, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You're one mana short of Thanks. doubling up the Rada ability, right? Oh, no, we're doing Kamal's Druidic. Battle. Oh, God! You've got to be kidding me. Just hit a bunch of lands, didn't you? You did. Sure did. No, a, a, a bunch. Of, I, I want to hit land. Wait, what? That can just get brought out by Kamal's Druidic Val. Oh yeah, here it, we go. It attaches on ETB. Boom. I completely forgot. What is this broken thing? Oh shit! I didn't mean to swing with this one. That's fine. Bam! Bam. All right. Can You're I need do to it? Get the biggest mirror march of your life. I will. Do it! Oh my god, the ball. Do it! No <laughs> way! Do it! No fucking way, man! <laughs> uh, oh, attack. come on! Oh, shit! Oh my god, I have to do this. Alright, we got Oh this. my gosh. Y you were lucky that had hexproof. Huh? Hold up. Uh, hold on. Watch. Watch this combo, okay? What is even happening? What is even going on? Oh, I have less lands in my deck. Than I have. <laughs> and you thought you did, right? Because you've been just bringing them out nonstop. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. All right, Have you well. perhaps made a tactical error? <laughs> oh, you still have a bunch, but there's no Field of the Dead. So you get- you can't fetch a thing, there's nothing. I know, I know. Alright, it's your turn. <laughs> Was that it? I don't have- I had a thud on top. I had a thud on top. Oh my god, can you believe that that game came down to you needed to flip the perfect, perfect mirror march, and you yeah. got it. I needed one more goblin, oh my but God. you know that was that was close. Man, what an end to the game! I, my end. my goblins did a thing. Now let's be clear. Yes, my goblins did a thing that anything could have done. It wasn't just a goblin specific thing. Yeah, it was just a thing that a lot of other creatures could have done. But it's important to say that there were green little creatures on this called goblins, and they're the ones that pulled it off. So you know what? I call it a goblin victory. I gotta say, goblin, goblin victory does sound correct to me, because every time I won, I feel kind of like one of those people on Wall Street bets that YOLO'd really hard, right? Like, I just get all my elves out, and then I have no cards and die, or I have a Crater Hoof Behemoth and win. Uh, at which point I make a nice point, uh, a nice post. Uh, but you know the goblins were just clean, clear, and consistent. As long as you had a skirt prospector. Yeah, that's that's been the big the big uh, running theme throughout the whole thing. And I feel like in historic yeah. as well, you have kind of the same thing with elves, right? Um, when we're talking about the real decks, right? It's all a lot of them feel yeah. like they're built around the same early core. Um, but yeah, elves are like I feel like elves do jank better because they do mana better. If it was, if there's one mm. lesson to be to mm -hmm. be drawn mm -hmm. here, I think that's what it is. Well, I'm yep. excited to have played such brilliant elf decks, and to all of you that submitted the infinite tokens, I'm proud to have figured out that I could make infinite tokens mid-match. I, I think more than anything, the real champions of goblins versus elves are the developers that 
actually made code that doesn't crash and handled it. It handled it. We pushed it to the limit. And then we got some ASMR in the middle. It was brilliant. It was just a very long, uh, unexpected game. I don't know. Uh, did you think when you were starting the What the Deck today, you were just going to sit there watching your, on purpose, your game lag until it just stopped sounding? I, I did not expect that the game would be like an aquarium and I would be tapping on the glass going, look at, look at it go. Look at the little guys. It's incredible. Uh, well, uh, with that, that closes this episode of What the Deck, the show where the stakes couldn't be lower. Our next episode is going to be on August 24th, and we're waiting to announce what the topic is for submissions because Wizards has some stuff coming up. Some of they're going to be announcing more of their potential contributions to historic. I, I, yeah, okay. to, to historic. They're going to be adding right. some historic stuff, and so we're waiting okay. for the announcement of the more stuff. And I'm calling it stuff because um, I know that they posted a name for it, and I'm just forgetting the name. There might be. I mean, I I just I don't I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Amonkhet is August thirteenth. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's, oh, there's some okay, stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. Oh, some God, stuff. yeah, that's going to be some spicy stuff. Yeah, there's some there spicy we go. stuff there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's there's some, there's some real plasma that's going to be stacked up in there. Uh, so in about two weeks' time, we're going to be announcing the next episode of What the Deck's Theme, but on August 24th, the end of August, we'll have the next episode. Hey, Nox, thanks for joining us today. Nox, do you want to do any shout-outs? We never do shout-outs at the end of the show. You get, no, not, you get, not you get really. one shout-out. What go ahead. shout out to my boy, uh, Prospector, for making today a, a day that goblins could remember. Aside from that, I guess uh, shout out to all the people who submitted decks that weren't just Muxus. I guess too. You know, I have to mention that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's worth. Somebody went out of their way to like, can I use this tribe? It's like, oh, you know what? Thanks. Yeah. You could have done something else. You. Well, cool. hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Skirk Prospector and all of you fine folk. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye, bye.